Hi, I'm Ms. Julianne, and I'm back for an engineering day. And today's is for really all ages. And all you need is some toothpicks, pretty much any kind. You can even buy the longer ones. That can make some really cool stuff, too. And mini marshmallows. You don't have to eat the marshmallows. But they are for construction. So one of the things you can practice with is just making shapes using the marshmallows and the toothpicks. So for example, I just made a rectangle with this and the triangle. Now the triangle is a little harder because you have to be sure to be sticking in these toothpicks at an angle, whereas here you're going to do it straight. You can make other things. You can make um, hexagons, pentagons. I created, I'm starting to make a kind of a globe with this one trying to figure it out. I'm doing it as with the hexagon shape. See here how there's six this way and then one, two, three, four, five, six to create that size and then just adding it on and then trying to create it so it can fold around to make a globe size. Other fun things to do with with the toothpicks and marshmallows are things like look constellations. Here's the Big Dipper. Can you see that? The Big Dipper. Look up a picture of the Big Dipper. I actually broke this toothpick right here so that it would be a little shorter because I noticed the, the stars of the of this bottom part of the Big Dipper were actually closer together than the top two here. And some of you may have seen that comment last month and it was really cool. And it was found just, just below, closer to the horizon from these stars of the Big Dipper. So that was kind of fun. I also made uh, a little house using using the toothpicks and marshmallows and I could have done a better job because it's kind of tilting this way so really needs to be attached a little better. So you can think of many reasons why this is a, an engineering project. So what if you were gonna build like a little house? Maybe you're gonna build it out of paper but you wanted to design it first. It's real quick to take some toothpicks and some marshmallows to get a general idea to ex express what you want to do with your project. And it's also just really cool to understand um, how this kind of these kind of materials work. I mean they're very bendable and what other things might be kind of more bendable. There's different kinds of plastics that are more bendable than wood for example. And so maybe maybe you want to make a bigger house and you want to figure out how you could make like make it look like there's a circular archway in the house or a bridge that would have an archway and how could you do that with these straight wooden you have to make it bigger probably and they don't bend so that would that would be a tougher one you have to make a bigger bridge um, you can also cut them, but get some help maybe from, from someone. Um, you can break them, but then they get kind of, you know, they, they are pointy, so be careful. And um, so I wanted to show you again my um, the beginnings of, of a globe, which I'm, I'm trying to, like, make it, maybe you can probably improve on this. <laughs> um, Six-sided. All these different things are, although this one is five-sided. Does someone have an answer for that? Does it need to be five-sided? I think it might need to be five-sided here to be able to go around the, to, to create this, this circular three-dimensional effect. So I, here I have six-sided and this one is five-sided. I don't know, maybe, maybe I, it can stay flat if it's six-sided, but I have to change um, what the, what the shape is if I'm going to make it come around three-dimensional or maybe not. So I'm still kind of exploring that because here's a five-sided one but maybe maybe it needs to be a six-sided one. See? So you can create all kinds of bendable interesting shapes. So I hope you'll enjoy with this really fun project marshmallows and toothpicks. See you next time.